Ain't doing a damn thing on the truck today. Because uh, I put more stuff in my way. <laughs> I heard about this two weeks ago. And the guy's wife's been pestering him for about four years to get it out of the way. So I jumped on it. Uh, it was free. Engine's burnt up. Uh, he ran out of oil. He says it will kind of turn over. So, you know, I might be able to might be able to save the engine. Had a bit of some whoopsie doodle on this side. Um, he wanted his rims back. That's why them steelies are on there. That's the original ones. I'm going to see if I can uh, take his take these rims down and have him bring whatever rims he wants these tires put on and uh, shuck them, you know, get just whatever tires or just keep these rims so I have them. Uh, inside ain't too bad. I haven't even, I haven't even hooked up a battery to it yet. I gotta, I gotta get his plow hitch off, or his trailer hitch and his plow carriage and it still has the electrical stuff from it. I get it's a it's a Meyer rig. Oh, yeah. That's uh, it's been <laughs> seeing its share of water and stuff. Um, this tilt column. I don't know what the hell's up with that, but <laughs> got to either find another one of those or. Hopefully that old style one that I got from another cab will bolt up. Pretty much all here. Worst part of it is that body damage. Um, the frame looks pretty scabby, but as far as I could tell, it's all just shit kind of laminating off of the surface. Doesn't look bad underneath. Uh, do to do. And, you know, it's probably, the guy said the floors were rotting out, but, I mean, yeah, they do have their share, but it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look horrible under here. I can't, can't poke my finger up through anywhere, so, you know, it might, oh, well, back here we got some good rot going on. Yeah. Back in here, He's, you ain't supposed to see light, I don't believe. Oh wait, or, uh, no, no, that's yeah, that's that's bad place to have rot. So we do have some rot happening. Uh, I don't know what the damage from uh, the side was. He said he was embarrassed about it, but it was something to do with his backhoe. So I imagine he was running his backhoe and. This was a little too close. <laughs> and he just went right up the front, or the side, you know. Uh, I think I can pull a lot of that out with a dent puller. Um, I mean, if it, if it ends up being a rotted pile of shit, I'm just going to take the engine out of that old GMC back there and stick in this. I mean, uh, should bolt right up. But it'd be kind of cool if I could save the engine. But it's been sitting for four years with the plugs out, the air filter off. So we'll see what happens. Thankfully, that rig was professionally installed. It ain't just welded on like some hack. It's, it's all bolted up. And the bolts seem to be coming out OK so far. But yeah, 90 Blazer, um, 140,000 miles. Has a title, pretty much complete. Is that dual tanks on there? I don't know. No, just a single tank. All right. Eh, it's all there. Uh, I don't know if anything even works, but it did four years ago. As I remember, I remember the dude was running it. Uh, but whatever I do, the engine would have to come out and at least get rebuilt or. Uh, La -dee -da. But that's way down the road. Um, all I'm doing right now is stripping his stuff off of it, and then it's going to go down in the woods till I'm done getting this put back together. And probably next spring, 
I might start on this or I might well next spring I'll I'll get this actually done and roadworthy then I can start on this because this, this isn't something that I need I mean I'm almost thinking maybe just put it on Craigslist for 500 and see if anyone bites but if I could have it running especially with the original motor engine engine damn it not motor engine uh, if I could have it running with the original engine and the proper rims on there you know I might get might get 1500 out of it even with the rot is uh I don't know yeah that's what's happening so <laughs> take care